Alright, what's up guys? So today we are going to be doing an MLB The Show card tutorial, you know? So I'll be making cards like Retro Finest, Milestones, Awards, you know? And if you want, I can make another tutorial on Signature Series and Feature Stars. But, um, I use uh, a browser such as Photo Piece to make these cards. Some people use Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, I highly recommend it. It's definitely better than Photo P. But Photo P is free and it's good for people who don't have Photoshop. Here is a Discord server that I'm in. It has a bunch of channels. You can join it. I'll link it below in the description. Yeah, you know, I made that temp. I made that temp too. The 2022 postseason cards that just recently came out. But yeah, there's a lot of good contributors to that server that'll help you out on your cards. But for Retro Finest, I'm going to be making A-Rod. I'm going to be trying to find the good photo. Photos that you want to use are like, probably like half body shots. They could be full body shots and you can just crop it. But, yeah, like, yeah, like that one right there with the bat one would be bad. I don't think I'm going to use it, but. That one wouldn't be bad either, if you go for more of a fielding type, you know. That one wouldn't be bad either, you know. I might use that. Probably leaning towards that, but I'll look more. You want to look at all the popular pictures. This one isn't bad. It's a little low quality, but it's not bad. Nah, uh, this one isn't that good. I might use that one. It's still low quality, though. You want high quality photos, or the highest quality that you can get. If it's like a really low year, and like there's not many good quality, like this one's kind of good quality. That one actually looks pretty good. Um, yeah, this is, it's, it's, it can be cool looking at photos, you know. Alright, so we have our photo now, it's this one, it's worn in a little bit, you know, that we, they tend to have that look on retro finance cards. If you don't like a photo on a card, you can always, uh, switch up on photos. It's never too late to redo the look of the card. But yeah, there's some downloaders that I like to use. Some Giddy Images downloaders to remove the watermark. See, like that one. That's the one that I. That's the one that I use right there. And then there's image upscalers to make the, to make like a blurry image more, like, high quality. There's another one. But yeah, those are basically some downloaders I use. So yeah, you just copy the link in there, then it'll the image will be saved to your files. And for and to remove the background of the image, you go to Adobe Express. Adobe is definitely the best background remover. You can use Photoshop's background remover though. That's good. But I do not use Photoshop, so I do not really know how to do that. So, yeah, I use Adobe. As you can see, they did all the work for me. So, you just kind of copy the image and you can copy and paste it into here. But, yeah, you did all the work, and or the AI did all the work, and you know, it's, it's good. You got the background removed. There's a bunch of reference cards in here, such as Robinson Cano. You want to use them for sizing. They're really helpful, and I recommend you use reference cards for basically every single car that you use or make. But yeah, let's just move A-Rod down. You know, we want to make them slightly bigger than uh, Robinson Cano because he's like in his batting stance. A-Rod's standing up straight and he's running. 
think it's more logical to make him slightly taller. You want to have him at like, you can just barely see his belt on the sizing. You want that to probably be where he's sitting at. I think that's pretty good for the sizing. And then we move him down just below the levels and adjustments. We turn off the reference and we're good to go. Now we you can rename the layer, it's optional. Now we're gonna do some image adjustments. I usually start with black and white filter. See, it turns them, gives them that B and W effect on retro finest cards. You know, you just kind of mess with it a little bit. You know, I'm making his face lighter or darker. There's no wrong or right way to do this. You just kind of got to do what feels right. White unis tend to look a lot better on Retro Finest. I'm done with there. Now you want to go to shadows and highlights. This is an absolute mandatory. They really make the Retro Finest cards pop out. They really make them look a lot better and more detailed. You can get rid of some of the shadows on their face. You see, if the radius is gone, you just your card's just bad. There's also highlights. Make the card a little bit darker. See, like that. Probably going to set it to there. Now I'm going to turn on brightness and contrast. Give it a clipping mask on Alex Rodriguez. But yeah, we're probably going to turn on the brightness and contrast. Contrast is a big part. It really gives the retro finest look. If you look at some of the um, red, uh, some of the references, you can see that they have that really dark look right there. So, so let's just set it to like there. See how that really makes it pop out. But yeah, we want to set it to somewhere. It's not... Yeah, like maybe around there. I'm not really liking how the picture looks, so I might... I might switch it up a little bit. Alright guys, so I don't think that I like this photo very much on the card, so I'm going to switch it up. Let's go this photo. I think this will be a little bit better. Let's copy the link. Let's put in the Giddy Images downloader. Gonna go there, backgrounds removed, paste it in, there we go, put it there, let's turn off the brightness and contrast layer, there we go, let's do the sizing, I think that's pretty good. That should be fine. Maybe a little bit lower and higher. Yeah. Then we do the same thing that I did with the other A-Rod picture. Okay, so now it's time to change the name. So obviously, Alex Rodriguez, the font is now sent to wide. You can find it in the server, which again, I'll link down below. It has so many resources, and with the resources, you can create so many good cards. Now you can see the name's a little wide, so I'll shorten it down so it can fit the card. Yeah, about there. It's 
pretty good. And then let's go to the team name. Obviously, he played for the Seattle Mariners in 2000. So, yeah. I usually delete the TM because it's, like, off-centered. And I just make a new text, write TM, then make it 20px in sizing. And I just, like, move it to where it was before. And it looks pretty good. So A Rod was a shortstop. His best season was 2000, according to Baseball Reference, which is a great place to find where your player's information is. You just start changing the text in the background basically to the year everything 2000 the ones that the players covering you don't really have to ch change it it's just the ones that uh, that stand out but yeah that's basically it now I'm probably gonna do the fade so what you want to do for the fade is you want to click on that little thing it creates a raster mask click on that it's called the gradient tool then you want to make sure that this settings black and white then you just hold down and you drag up to about the belt line and then you let go boom fade and you just kind of delete all the text that shows through him it's annoying but you know it's, it's worth it because you know you want the best result out of the cards. Now this is obviously not even close to my best work. I'm not really happy with these adjustments at all actually. They kind of look bad. But it's not my worst work either. Probably gonna do a little bit of adjustments before the card's done. I'll do some exposure, you know. Alright, I got the exposure to somewhat of my liking right here. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. I guess that's alright. I really do not like the outline on his jersey. Should have put down the shadows a little bit, but. That's basically it for the retro finest part of this video. Let's go to the milestone. Alright, so I believe that I'm going to be making a 500 home run club milestone card for Big Poppy. So right here, we go back to Giddy Images. The good thing about milestones is you can really just look up the player on what team they're on when they hit the milestone. So you have a huge variety of pictures instead of just the year. Obviously, if it's like a no-hitter or perfect game card, or like a cycle, card you'd want to have the exact game of the card but if it's like a normal milestone like this you can just have on the team so let's just go you know we're gonna find a picture that we like again there's a lot of variety so it might take us a little bit more time let's see I'm gonna skip ahead to page 20 I'm still not finding people so let's skip ahead even more Okay, so I have found the perfect picture. So I copied the link, put it in the Giddy Images downloader, and then just let it do its thing. Go to Adobe Express, wait for this baby to load up in your files. Remove the background. You can copy the image. And then we're gonna go. I have a bunch of miles on temp saved. It's the first card that I tried out. I recommend that if you join the server, you start out with awards cards, which I will be making next. But here we go. We go David Ortiz. The font for that is in the server. The milestone channel. 
So again, join the server. It's definitely worth it. Gives you all the resources you need to make good cards. Now I usually do this later, but I'm gonna add the better overall, other than the default overall. I like this one better. So yep, there we go. Now I'm gonna load in our Boston Red Sox reference to get the exact colors that I need on this card. Now I'm gonna load in a card that I made, because I do not have the Chris Sale one from last year saved. So I'm going to make a card that I made. It's probably going to be the Dustin Pujoya 50 doubles club. Yep. So there's my reference. As you can see, it has all the colors. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool. Get the name. You just hold down on the color that you want to grab. Get both of the gradient colors and the background color. So first what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the color overlay click on it you want the blending mode to be on color nothing else turn it on the box click on the color that we just I dropped and do you see now we have the background color now we're gonna go to the name see we have the name color bang right there big poppies now in blue home run club that's gonna be in blue It's going to be in the light red. The 500. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to effects. We're going to go to gradient overlay. Okay. We're going to make that 100 opacity so you can see it clearly. Let's make that linear. Now the gradient overlay settings. You want the left box to be 10%. The settings are in the server. But yeah. And then the far box is going to be 90%. This box is going to be 35%. The middle, this is the basically what that black dot does is it records when the fade happens. And then you do the two eye drop colors that we get, and you have the same gradient. So now that the colors are all set up, you're ready to put in Big Poppy. You can use these reference cards for sizing again. You see the gradient has two different colors. See, that's the lighter color and the darker color. But you were not ready to load in Big Poppy himself. So let's paste him in. There he is. Let's make him smaller. So he can actually fit. Honestly, that's actually pretty good sizing. But I'll compare him to Harmon Krillabru anyways. Yeah, that's actually perfect sizing. Basically where it is. Let's just match his feet. That's, that's good sizing. Right, let's turn off the reference and now we have a pretty sick setup so first what we're gonna do is we are going to do the drop shadow on the player yes indeed there is a drop shadow the opacity is 42 percent put the blend mode on multiply the angle is 90 and then that's 27 now we have a drop shadow and now we're going to clip it to the 500 now what that does is it only makes the drop shadow appear on the text so you clip you rasterize the 500 duplicate it turn off the drop shadow on the duplicate layer and then you make it fillable again now see what it does it makes it very nice it's a very nice effect that SDS decided to use on their cards I like it and now that we've done that, I think it's a good time to do feet shadows. As you can see, they do have feet shadows, cards that SDS has made. Fight up Blue has very faint feet shadows on his right foot right there. But yeah, I, I made, yeah, that was back when I wasn't that good at drop shadows. I'm pretty good at them now. You make a new file, or a, not a new file, excuse me, a new layer. And you use the ellipse select tool. It makes basically perfect circles for you. Go to the brush. You can just draw it in perfectly. There you go. You really want to like get the live in this. You can even tilt it a little bit. That's what I'm going to do since his foot's at an angle. I'm going to tilt it down a little bit. About there.
And then if it's too big, which that is, then you can make it a little bit smaller. Which I'm going to do, but gauge and blur to make it a little bit blend more in. And then opacity, change the opacity to about there, that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to probably put it to 65. Yeah, 65 looks good. I'm going to make the shadow even smaller. Right here, you go to transform controls. You can make it look smaller. Yeah, I think that one looks actually good. I'm happy with how it came out. Uh, you make another folder or layer. You do ellipse select draw. It makes it a draw I'm pretty long because you want it to be, you know, like very, very glare. Like have that glare effect. Gosh, and blur again. You don't want it to be too much because, again, you want them to be pretty visible. Make I'm going to put it probably at 65. And then this is optional, but I'm going to make a second shadow under the right foot just to make it more like visible so you can tell that it's there because the left foot's off, or the the right foot left foot I don't know but it's off the ground so you know that one's a little bit less visible so this one's more visible again it's off you don't have to do it I just do it to make it look a little bit better there we go I think that looks good so now we're going to get into image adjustments. Yes, there is image adjustments on milestones. Somehow, sometimes you don't have to do them that much. On this photo, I'm not going to do that many. I'm just going to do a little bit of brightness, a little bit of con. No, I'll do some contrast. Yeah, right there. You can see it's actually a huge difference. I'm going to do shadows and highlights. This is a huge adjustment. Like, it's on a lot of cards. It's on awards, too. You'll see in a second. But, yeah, obviously, they're not as strong as they are in Retro Finest. And then you can add some highlights. I think that looks pretty good. It actually looks amazing. This card's coming out good. And the last thing that you should add is Vibrant. And that saturation, you know, it makes his face look a little more cartoony like, but like nothing too crazy, you know. That looks actually great. So before I before I save it, I'm gonna add a drop shadow to the text. But first let's do the logo. Logo, you can use the reference. The reference cards. Obviously, if this is your first card, then you can just use the reference card, the like Carmen Killer Brew or Vita Blue, to match the logo. It matches up pretty good right there. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use these if you don't, if you haven't made a card before. And there is drop shadow on the logo. So you put that to five, put that to, put that to six, put the opacity to 69, normal, and then 110 is the angle. What that does is it makes the pixels go to the right. So you can see the, the drop shadow more apparently. And yeah, I'm almost ready to be done with this card. Do not export it yet. I have to get the drop shadow done. Now this is also optional, but usually if there's um if you if you have a hard time reading the club text because like the pants or the player makes it hard, then you can um add a drop shadow as the same color as the background. Now obviously that's way too much spread. And what I do is I end up actually making a mistake. I don't clip the drop shadow to the home run club or to the player. Because I forgot. 
so it actually ends up appearing a little bit on the 500 so that's my bad at least you guys won't make that mistake but yeah it looks pretty good I'm actually pretty happy with how this milestone came out I think it's a good example for you newcomers and yeah that's basically it for the milestone I'll see you in awards. Okay, so for my awards card in this video, I will be making a Josh Donaldson 2015 MVP card. I am an A's fan, so it hurts to see him go to different teams. But, you know, we had him when he was really good. Of course, he won MVP and he was in his prime with the Blue Jays. But, yeah, I'm going to be making Josh Donaldson. You do the same exact thing. Go to Gimme Images, find a picture. Yeah, you basically just copy the image, load it in to the template. The awards template again is in its own channel on the server. Make sure you join the Discord server. If you don't have Discord, then I guess that sucks for you. But yeah, you load the you load the player in. He's a little too big, I'll make him smaller. That's probably about right. Now let's turn off that's, you want to delete those top three adjustments. They don't really, or you can use them, but I just don't really use them. Let's turn up the brightness a little bit. Contrast shouldn't be that high. And yeah, shadows and highlights, like I said, it's going to be on there. It's very vague, not too much. Not too little though. Not that much radius. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then, yeah, you can use some highlights. Because again, you don't want it to be too out of control. Let's fix it. It's a little too bright. That seems good. I guess let's just leave brightness off. And let's just go, as you can see the glove, there's a bunch of like crazy background that didn't quite get removed. So we're gonna have to remove them manually. We're gonna have to zoom in, get up close. And we'll, it'll, it'll make it very easy to remove the pixels. That uh, are still remaining. There we go, the hand tool. Move up to his hand. As you can see, yes. It's pretty noticeable, actually. Let's zoom up a little bit more. There we go, that should be good. Turn the brush down. And then see, when we get up close, we can really just get all of that. And not really make that many mistakes to get that. See, nothing really that bad happened there. I guess we can just remove that. Oh, no, what am I doing? That's a little bit too much off course. Let's just remove it normally. That's fine. Yeah, see, that looks fine. The finger is a little messed up, but it's whatever. Now I guess we can change the name, Josh Donaldson, the fonts and all the information for the cards is in the awards channel. I'm going to keep reminding you, I'm going to keep being annoying, but you're going to have to join the server for for you to be able to like be successful in making card art. Toronto Blue Jays. We're gonna turn on the gradient here. 
makes it look way better, makes it look more accurate. Obviously, Donaldson's a third baseman, so we changed that. Won MVP in 2015, so we changed that. Now, for the fade, we make a duplicate layer of Donaldson. Oh, wait, hold on, let me change the vibrance a little bit. We make a duplicate layer of Donaldson. And we don't use that, but you'll see what happens. You'll see you'll see what I do. You'll see what I do. So duplicate layer. You click on it, convert to smart object and double click. It makes its own project. Then you go to image, you go to transform, and you go to flip vertically. Then you drag it back into the project. There we go. Now it's exactly upside down. You can delete the copy that you just made and then have the upside down one. Move it down and match it to the foot. Yep, there is a reflection on these awards cards. It's pretty noticeable, obviously, because it's a big key. If you look at this Dallas Keiko one, you can see. Oh, let me turn these dolls in. Yeah, you can see that's the reflection there. But. Um, yeah, we're going to be adding that reflection to this card. We're going to do the same thing that you do on Retro Finest, add the raster mask, do the gradient tool. You're going to start at about halfway on the name. Drag up to his foot, let go. The opacity should be pretty low, probably at like 40 or 30. Yeah, that looks good. But yeah. That would basically conclude the awards card. This looks pretty good, you know. It's not the best look I've done, but it's good enough. And yeah, it's basically the three main cards that are more popular in the server. Again, join the Discord server if you have a Discord. Has all the stuff in there. Saving the card. Hope you guys learned a lot in this video. I'll make more tutorials if you want some on like signature series cards. But yeah, that's basically it for now.